Hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, it's me, the third one. And here today's video, we will... Hi guys, it's me, the third one. And here today's video, we will talk about sets. This is the first topic na pag-uusapan natin for grade 7 mathematics. So without further ado, let's do this topic. So we have here the definition of sets. Sets are simply collection of objects. Pwede natin i-bagoy na konti yung terminology natin or yung definition natin. Set or sets are collection of items. So, para mas naintindihan mo, what is a set? Let's say for example, uh, yung unang example ng set natin is the set of the English alphabets. So, pag sabi natin sets of English alphabet, ano ba yung mga letters na yun? So, meron tayong letter A hanggang letter Z. Yung letters na yan, from A to Z, those are, uh, that is your set. Kasi ang set natin ay yung letters of the alphabet. Another thing, sabihin natin ano, uh, colors of the rainbow. Alam naman natin na meron tayong colors of the rainbow, which is uh, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, and violet. Yung seven colors na yun, sila yung set natin, which is yung set natin ay yung colors of the rainbow. So, meron pa dito, sabi dito, it is named using capital letters. So, gumagamit tayo ng capital letters to name a set. And another thing about the sets, each object in a set is called the element. So, later on, elaborate natin yung term natin about the element. And this is the symbol for the element. Again, this is a symbol for the element. So, para mas maintindihan mo yung set at yung tinatawag natin element, let's have this example. We have here set A, wherein yung nakapalaw set A natin or yung set A natin are the days in a week. So, alam naman natin, in one week or sa isang linggo, we have seven days. Starting from Monday up to Sunday. So, sir, paano po yan? Um, ano ba yung ibig sabihin ng set A natin? Ang set A natin ay ito. Yung set A natin, since now, days in a week, uh, that is Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday and Sunday. So, kung isipin mo, sabi ka sa set A natin, days in a week. Ito nga na ngayon yung nakapaloob sa set A mo, which is days in a week. So, ngayon, uh, para mas magets mo yung elements natin, we can say that um, Monday is an element of A. So, kapag nabasa mo to, Monday is an element of set A. Tama naman kasi, yung Monday natin is nakapaloob dito sa days in a week. Okay? So, let's say for example, um, we have this one. Tuesday is this one. Which is tama rin naman because Tuesday is an element of set A. And so, how about this one? Is it true or false? No. Because December is not included sa, long, sa days in a week natin. So, false itong statement na to. Pero kapag gina, ginawa natin siyang ganito, ang basa dito, December is not an element of set A. So, ayaw sa part ng video natin ito, nakuha mo yung definition ng sets, nakuha mo yung e ibig sabihin ng elements, tapos na nalaman mo rin or nandida mo yung ibig sabihin ng first example natin para sa sets. So, in the next part of our video, we will deal with more examples of sets and we will talk about another terminology na related sa sets. So let's talk about another terminology that will help you in studying sets. So, we have here subset. So, let's talk about subset of a set. A subset is a set. Again, subset is a set whose elements are all members 
of another set. So you will be dealing with this kind of symbol. Ang ibig sabihin na symbol na to, this one is subset. Symbol for subset. And this one, this symbol is not a subset. So let's have this example. We have here example um, set A in which the elements of A are 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. The elements of B or, or set B is 1, 2, 3, letter C, 2, and 8. So given this example, analyze natin, alin dito yung mga subsets na isang set. So bagay natin yung definition natin na, a subset is a set whose elements are all members of another set. Again, all members of another set. So as you can see guys, um, uh, let's have set B. Set B has the elements or has three elements which, which is 1, 2, and 3. Kung man notice nyo, again kung man notice nyo, the elements of set B are all in the elements of set A, in which part ni set A yung elements ni set B. So, sa definition natin, a subset is a set whose elements are all members of another set. So, we can say that this set B is a subset of set A. B is a subset of A. Sir, bakit po? Bakit po yung B ay subset ni set A? Because all the elements, this is a set, and all the elements of this set, 1, 2, and 3, are elements of another set. So this one justifies the definition of a subset. Sir, how about A being a subset of B? Let's think about it. Is A a subset of B? No. So as you can see guys, uh, the elements of A are 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. In which, these elements are not inside the elements of set B. So we can say that set A is not a subset of B because mas marami ang elements ni set A. Yun yung ano, obvious na reason bakit hindi pwedeng maging subset ni set B si A because mas, mas greater yung number of elements ni set A. So how about sir letter C? Is letter C a subset of A? No. So letter C or set C is not a subset of A. Sir, what is the reason why C or set C is not a subset of A? As you can see guys, the elements, yes, there are two elements in which this one is lesser than the elements of A. But you need to check if the elements or the 100% of the elements of, side of set C are inside set A. As you can see, A is not existing in the elements of A. That's why set C is not a subset of set A. So, I hope na nakuha yung explanation about the subsets or set na kung saan ginawa natin sa first part ng video wherein um, do, yun yung mga basic yung kailangan intindihin when it comes to uh, studying of sets. Kasi malilito kayo sa mga definition at kung hindi nyo alam yung konsepto ng mga definitions na yan. So if you have any question about our topic today, feel free to comment down below. And if you want to request a specific topic that you want me to discuss within this channel, feel free to comment down below. So if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe at hit na rin yung bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads. Again, it's me, Teacher God. Maraming maraming salamat. Bye!